Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is Dot, my sweet little calm, gentle, quiet, sleepy <laughs> rescue puppy. And there's her sinus medicine today. She's been a good girl this morning. And I hope you're having a great morning today. I hope your day is off to a great start and that you are uh, entering into this Friday uh, as uh, full of joy, full of hope, and knowing that uh, you are precious and unique to the Lord and that uh, he is going to spend this day with you. And uh, this may sound like a one of those uh, uh, silly little TV commercials, but I'm going to ask this question. Have you claimed your free gift today? Don't go into this day without claiming your free gift. Uh, and I'm talking about spiritual gifts. Now, the, the New Testament is very clear. God gives to us gifts uh, according to his needs and his will and his purposes uh, freely. He gives to us. And not everyone gets the same gifts. You know, uh, it used to be very popular back in the 1990s uh, for people to take these spiritual inventories, uh, these little questions you could answer, and, and it would tell you what your spiritual gift is. Uh, <laughs> I always thought that was sort of funny because uh, it comes out differently for, for different people at different times. But the truth is God gives us spiritual gifts that we are meant to share with those around us, with others, uh, uh, to lift everyone up. That's why we're here, to lift each other up, uh, not to put each other down, uh, not to, to try to uh, go one up on everyone else, but, uh, but to help each other. And so uh, you have a free gift. Have you claimed it? Do you know what it is? You know, that's something that you can ask God when you get up in the morning. Lord, we, I know that you have given me your gifts to use uh, for your people today. Please show me what they are. Lead me into discovering and using uh, and claiming the gift that you've given to me. Not everyone has the same gift. Now, sometimes it's what you're passionate about. If you are got something in your life like uh, music, uh, or uh, art, you know, or writing, or poetry, uh, then that, that gives you a clue that God has given that uh, passion within you to do that. <clears throat> and it's meant to be used to, to help others. But there are other gifts, other spiritual gifts. Teaching is a big one. Uh, uh, encouraging is a big one. Spreading joy making others feel comfortable. God gives us all sorts of gifts uh, that we use to make the world better. You know, we follow the path of the world at our own peril uh, because uh, the way of the world is angry and dark uh, and confusing and divisive, and that's not the way of the Lord. When we follow the way of the cross, being humble, being gentle, being compassionate, being kind, uh, we make the, the world better, one person at a time. And when we share God's gifts, the very first person it lifts up is ourselves. Ask God what your gift is today. Read in his word. Ask him to show you and know that he loves you. He's guiding you even right now. Uh, he's uh, wrapping you in his arms even right now and bestowing upon you the, the best gifts that he has. And the main one, of course, is eternal life and salvation and forgiveness of sin through his son, Jesus Christ. Claim that gift first, and then enjoy the day today, doing what the God the Lord wants you to do. I've been thinking about the 19th century missionary hymn, The Church's One Foundation is Jesus Christ, Her Lord.
blessed day today, and God willing, God and I will see you here again tomorrow.